Right now, uh, we're going to go put a probe right where that little yellow dot is. Three, two, one, drop, drop, drop. Probe drop tone came through, we got it. So that means that the probe's operating correctly, and we're going to get a good profile. Way to go, buddy. Right. Good job. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of minerals. We're literally watching the Greenland ice sheet disappear right before our very eyes. And this is having an impact all around the planet. We all share one ocean. So a billion tons of ice lost here raises sea levels all across the world by a measured amount. This is happening today. And the question is, how fast is it going to happen in the future? In July, there was this unprecedented heat wave, uh, records being shattered uh, all, over, uh, all over that continent. But uh, what then happened is that heat that we were seeing over Europe basically moved north. The weather pattern shifted, and so that heat that had been plaguing uh, Europe moved over Greenland. And that was really what caused uh, this overall big, big melt event. The area of melt in summer in Greenland is increasing. Now, Greenland is losing mass. It's contributing to sea level rise. But what we saw this summer was a very unusual melt event. And uh, we saw a situation where there was melt even at the top of the ice sheet at what they call Summit Station, quite unusual. But this is really an exclamation point on an overall trend we're seeing on the Greenland ice sheet that it is losing mass, it is melting down, and it is contributing to sea level rise. But it's also a quite variable thing. So what happens now is we've got an overall warming trend on Greenland. Here comes now a big heat wave. That's just an exclamation point on what's been happening as an overall pattern for the past 30 years. The Arctic is where the action is right now in climate change. We'd long known that this would be the case, and that's exactly what we see. It's a situation where we hate to say we told you so, but we did. sea level rise of six and a half meters, something like that. Now, that's a lot. That's not going to happen for a long, long time. Now, if we melted down the entire Greenland ice sheet, you're talking about a sea level rise of something like, oh, six meters, over 20 feet, right? Now, that's not going to happen for a long, 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 long time. Uh, but uh, we need to be watching Greenland, uh, because Greenland is where a lot of the action is in sea level rise. So we need to be looking at this very closely.